Lynn. Today we are going to do something from um, Paris, something exotic and something mysterious, like uh, something like a spy would have eat for dinner. Let's see, my guest is coming in. Are you ready, Dominique? <coughs> 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 Dominique, are you alright? Uh, uh, oh. Yes. Uh, you got the best of him, didn't you? I did, I certainly did, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's great to be here. Thank you. Just a bit of a dodgy thing coming in there with some, uh, yes. some unwanted it's a attention. It's difficult to be here. I had to kill Phil and myself to get here. Oh, couldn't okay. So, this is Dominique Kinard from London. And he just finished working as a spy as well. Would you like to tell him what you're going to be seeing in? Oh, uh, you could probably see me in Wonder Woman playing a German spy. Um, yes. Nice. But you might not recognize me because I'm a spy. That's good. Nobody recognizes me ever. Uh, even my phone, it won't even open for me. It's supposed to be face recognition. Uh, it right. never recognizes me. But you are a beautiful French spy, are you not? But of course. Now I am going to tell you what we're going to use. Okay. So it will not be a secret, but do not give everybody what information. Is what is we have onions for this. Red onions and white onions. And you can use any kind. We like to mix it up. So this variety is the spice of life, no? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite? You like red then, the spice of life? I like everything. <laughs> <laughs> and some olive oil and some butter. And I have some French bread mm. for croutons and some different kinds of cheese. I'm using mozzarella, mm. I'm using parmesan, and I'm using Swiss. Gruyere is good too, if you have it, whatever you want to use, because we like to use many things for many flavors. I am using some broth or bouillon. Mm -hmm. This is beef. We have also beef granules. If you do not have it and you have to make it fast, you can just make your own and you can also use vegetable if you are vegetarian and you can also use chicken if you're not Lovely. and some spices because spice is very good for you thyme and bay leaves pepper and salt mm. garlic to kill the vampires sherry or wine Jocelyne, your hat is eating me in the face. Oh, but, but it's more fun, you know, a French tickle. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to add myself a little cocktail now. This is called a lemon spritzer. All right. May I? Sure. So you get the lemon in the... No, I'm only joking. This is your show. You carry on. <laughs> you carry on. We are going to use alcohol, though. Oh, great. We're going to use leftover wine we could use red wine we could use white wine mm. and sherry 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 so, yes, yes everything so now let's discuss the onion discuss the onion this is the root and the tip of the stem and when you make the front onion soup i will make a sample this is oh here's a good one mm. see i'll cut off this part i already cut off half before put it flat down and cut off the hard part and you want to cut it lengthwise because you want nice slices mm. so I left some for you so you could oh, have great. some fun with knives I, I know you like you look like you're an expert yes. spy good cutting actually I brought my own knife I think dum, 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 oh. okay here we go so we're gonna slice this across like this mm -hmm. And, oops, <laughs> that wasn't good. <laughs> don't cry, don't cry. I'm and gonna then, get rid of this bit because it doesn't look very nice so that I can go in the waste ditch. Right. Ready for recycling. So I've got already a, a big terrine, mm -hmm. but it's actually a big soup pot. And I'm going to put all the, as many onions as you want, you can use like five or six or so, it depends. The more the merrier. To make it caramelize and to make it, as we say, sweat, 
Mm -hmm. I put a little bit of salt because that takes some of the moisture out of the onion. Okay. And I add also the... Should I put this in the tin? Yes. A little bit of sugar caramelizes it. Oh, wow. So this makes it brown because you want the onions to get brown. Yeah. Carry on with these. Carry on. Carry on, old chat. Carry on. Do carry on. Your English accent is fantastic. Thank Did you, you know that? so much. I love my English accent too. I do all kinds. Oh. All right. So I'm going to put the garlic in next. The garlic next. Okay. And also we're going to use a bit of butter. You know, um, I like to mix the butter and the olive oil because, you know, it is a little bit rich, mm. but it's good. So I'm going to just cut off a bit, a cube uh, of this. Have you, did you ever have an advert in uh, the US which was got to get a better bit of butter on your knife? No, I didn't have that one. Uh, we, had, we had one in England. That's a good one. Got to get a better bit of butter on your knife. And What's that effect? a bit of olive oil. And Do you always use virgin oil? Oh, extra virgin. Oh, <laughs> it's the only one. Mm. So we're gonna lightly put this on. Yeah, great. And it's you know actually all right if it burns a bit because oh. you want it to get brown mm. because it makes the more more flavor and makes it more intense. So I'll just put like maybe three of these in here. Okay, I'll keep doing oh, these last doing onion as well. And I'll do these. This one, the the white onions do make you cry a bit more than the red ones, Yeah, don't they're they? stronger. Yeah. But they're great when they cook mm. because they have more flavor a bit. And they're sweeter when they when they cook. When they cook down. And it's gonna smell really wonderful. Mm, it is nice. It's already smelling good, it's not even cooked. <laughs> so um, when you were actually a spy in France, yes. was this one of your favourites? Did you ever poison someone with this meal or anything? Of course. Of course. Nice. I once it's more uh, subtle. I once um, knocked out one of the guards with a huge baguette. <laughs> did you put, so to speak. Did you put something inside the baguette? No, it had just gone hard <laughs> after a certain amount of time. If you wait long enough, well not always. I was gonna say things do get hard. <laughs> Okay. All right, so I've chopped this up a bit. Great. And pull this one. Just a couple more. And I'm going to just cook this all down and let it sit for about 20 minutes. Wow. And let it cook down until it gets brown. Mm. And cook in the onions. You'd be surprised, they, cut, they will come down. And then I take a wooden spoon and then I let the butter melt. Mm. This is going to be lovely. Mm. It smells really good already. So you don't have to watch it too much, just let it you know, cook down. I just want to make sure the oil is at the bottom. So is there any water in there? It's just oil? No, because right. you're going to use the moisture from the... But we're going to put in the broth. That's ah, of course. Okay. Mm, delicious. Oh, this is making me really hungry actually. So now, while we're doing that, let's open these. Let me show you. I'm using like, this is called a church key. What? That's what we call it in America. That looks like a weapon. Why is this in your holster? Oh hidden yes. Hidden away somewhere in your and outfit. I always take a cloth and I go around the edge because it could be like dirt. Mm. And you don't want to be putting that in your food. Oh, good. See? Yeah, okay. yeah. Good, good hygiene. I like it. Yes. So this is important. So we clean this around the edge. Mm -hmm. See, look at mm. you didn't know wow. it. Wow. Then um, you could do this. Just you know, we put one on well, one you side. You might make me look silly because I've never used one of these. Oh. What do you do with it? Well, the reason you put two on because one gets the air in so that it will, mm. and then the other one. Oh, I see. It's just a punch. It's I thought you were going to try and get the lid off with that. Oh no, no, <laughs> no. You say that's going to be a. See, normally though, this one didn't open it all the way down. Mm. I don't know why, but it'll it'll still come through. Okay, great. Okay, let's put a little, see how much? Oh wow! But if you don't put it on this side, the mm. air doesn't go through. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't. Getting the And then I'm just gonna stir this down a bit. It is smelling like a French cafe. It is oh, lovely. Oh, oh. 
And it's very inexpensive. It's just mm. the only thing that costs a little money is the butter, which you don't have to use butter. It does give it a good flavor. Mm. Now, so you'll be adding some of the um, the alcohol, will you, to this? Yes. Well? Yeah. That's going to be cooked down too. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to put in one. I'm gonna, do you want to open want some more cans? All of them. All of them, okay. I shall try and use this weird contraption to do that. If James Bond can't do it, it's going to be embarrassing, isn't it? There we go. I see. So one to breathe. And what I can do is and cover one to this pour. too and let it cook down. So just, I'm going to use them all. Just put okay. Them, just put them down Great. And when I'm ready. And then while we're doing that, some herbs. Now normally bay leaf comes in a big leaf and you can take it out. Mm. But since this is already Oh, that's small, much better. You, you I just, hate the bay leaf. When you get a curry and yeah. I, I always end up with it. And it's, I'm not particularly keen on the flavour. Well, it in now so but a few cook it down. crumbs will be delicious, I'm sure. Well, it'll cook down, so it'll get soft, so to mm. speak. Mm. Oh well, it's unlikely with you around, Jocelyn. <laughs> there. Mmm, that smells good. And then you can use fresh, fresh herbs would be best. But since we don't have any time, we're just going to put about. Mm. I don't know. You know, I think it's good to just mix it in now because it's dried and when you mm. have a dried herb use this See, that's interesting for me from Britain because we don't have herbs. Her have herbs are something different. <laughs> yeah, we have herbs, yeah. Herbs, not herbs. Yeah. It's the way they pronounce it's different. Mm. They're a little bit... I kind of, oops, I kind of like that. <laughs> All right, so now pepper. Oops. Oh, hello. That was the wrong... I thought that was the empty one. All right. And a little bit, I've put salt already, so I'm going to put peppers in for it. Oh, delicious. You smell it already? Mmm, I can. It's lovely. This is white Really pepper. nice. There. That was good. Oh, is that a diamond I see in there? Is there a diamond just... just I think on? I ate it. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, see how it smells wonderful? Oh, yeah. Delightful. So let's put, you want to pour this in? Yeah, if you like. And then I'll pour this one in. Yes, Miss Mummy Penny. It's time that you pour the soup. So, who's your favourite? Sean Connery or Roger Moore? Or well, Daniel Sean Craig? Classic. You prefer classic? Okay. Huh. The old, the old ones are the best, aren't they? The old ones are the best. All right. So we recycle everything, as you know. Okay. Of course. And then it's just put down. You want to do this one? If you like. <clears throat> Make sure we shoot this cleverly so that you can see the can, otherwise it looks like I'm having a pee into the pot. <laughs> we don't want that, do we? Same color. No. All right. <laughs> okay. Let's cover it so we don't have to. Great. Shall I stir it once? Or you no, you don't need to. Okay. And just let that sit. And mm. then um, we are going to use this bread. And these these are what it goes into. The bread. You, you want the bread to be like about the same size as this. So you just cut it in half. And yeah. Then Lay it on top after you put the soup in it, oh, and then we're going to broil it on top with the cheese. It's going to be so good. Mm. What is now? This is helpful for me because in the UK we don't. I'm not aware of the phrase broiling. Oh, and, like well, the burger boiling. shops broil everything. Everyone's broiling. What yeah, is broiling? broiling is the heat on the top. Okay, like grilling then. No, mm. grilling's the heat on the bottom. Oh, interesting. So broiling in the UK we we grill, and the heat would come from the top, and that would be called grilling. Really? Yeah. Oh. So this broiling, I was wondering it's what interesting. that Interesting. Mm. All right, so um, let's let that sit and we'll come back. So now it's about 20 minutes mm. and I am going to show you this gorgeous oh, wow. soup. Mm. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, so now I am going to add some alcohol. To give it some flavor. Oh, goodness this me. This is a little bit of sherry. 
What, what type of sherry is that? It's cooking sherry. Ooh, more sherry. A bit cooking. And then I'm going to add a bit of red wine. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm, don't be shy. Lovely. This is a um, Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay. And I am going to add a little more broth so that it is more like soup because it has cooked down. Mm. And so now it's perfect. Parfait. No? It's going to it's going to be so nice. Would you like me to do that for you? Yes, please. Not a problem. I will start mm. with my wooden spoon. Mm. Mm. Look how perfect. It's marvelous. Mm, it's making me hungry. <laughs> Pardon? Merveilleux. Oh. It means marvelous. Oh. En français. Super. Oops. So now it is um, just a little bit cold to put. And then, so now if you want to, we can put it in here. I'll do these out of the way for you. I take a, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, a ladle. Yes, I take a ladle with some the broth and this and I put it in here Ooh. and I fill it up to the top and then I take a piece of this French bread you can use um, hard or you can use this is not too hard mm. but it doesn't matter because it's going to get the soup nice. so now mm. I have another, another trick mm -hmm. I cut this in half yeah. And they put it right out here. <laughs> now, okay. the cheese. I like to put a whole slice. I was trying to that find the gruyere, amazing. but I could not find. Yeah. So I had to use this. It's, as long as it's got a sharp flavor, it's very good. And I lay it on oh, the top like me. this. If you want to add a little more flavor, mm -hmm. sometimes they take a little parmesan. Oui. And I put it on top too. Because you can never have enough cheese. <laughs> now, is there um? Now, watch. This is something else. This is a little, little trick. Okay. If you take a little lemon and you sprinkle it on top, this will prevent the stringiness and the cheese. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. I am going to stick this in the oven and boil it. It is fini. Oh my goodness me! That looks fantastic. So I think we should taste it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I brought you your weapon of choice. Wow! You, do you know you could? <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to take some cheese and some mm. bread, mix it together with a bite of soup. So we could taste everything together. It's sliding away from me. It's not easy, is it? <laughs> <laughs> there. That's got it. Wow, tell you what, that smells delicious. Ready? Okay. Mmm. No, no, no. That's far too good. <laughs> <laughs> That's really, really delicious. That's so fantastic. I want to thank my special guest, Dominique, and what are you going to be in next? Ah, I'm not actually allowed to talk about it, but I can tell you it's uh, going to be in cinemas. So I'm sorry I can't talk about it, but thanks for having me on this show. And thanks for joining us on Cooking In with Joyce Lynn and Eat Your Soup. Merci but beaucoup. right now, we're going to get some more food and follow me. Mm, mais oui. <laughs>